Coming up on AM Southwest, we have details about attendance recovery. Plus, information on human trafficking. All this and more, AM Southwest starts now. Welcome to AM TV. I'm Boston Martinez. And I'm Mateo Perez. Friday is the Southwest Pyramid basketball game. This game is at 7.30 at Wilkerson Grinds. There will be halftime activities. Tickets are $2 for students and can be purchased online. Check Southwest social media for more. There will be a Valentine's Day dance February 5th from 7 to 11 p.m. in the cafeteria. Buy your tickets in room 1507 during lunch next week. Tickets will be $10 if you purchase early or $20 at the door. Money raised will help support the senior class prom fund. Remember, everyone is welcome. If you still need attendance recovery, there are still more Saturday school dates. The next Saturday school dates are January 29th as well as February 5th. On January 29th, enter through the main door and on February 5th, you will need to enter on Welch. Arrive by 7.50 a.m. with your charged Chromebooks. If you have questions, please reach out to linda-joe.jackson at forthisd.org. If you know or think you've lost credit due to attendance, please attend Saturday school. If you are not sure, Please see Ms. Jackson in room 1618. It is your responsibility to check and saying, no one told me, it's not an excuse. A tennis recovery special opportunity. Do you need a tennis recovery for this fall semester? We have four after school hours available for you, but it's limited to 30 students per day and you have to sign up for it. You can use this QR code or, or the one outside Ms. Ms. Jackson's room 1618 to sign up. Raiders, you're working hard to keep our campus clean. Please do your part by not littering and help make Southwest the place to see. Yearbooks are on sale. You can purchase one online at www.yearbookforever.com. Did you know, runaway and homeless youth are at a high risk for becoming a victim of human trafficking? There are known risk factors that contribute to youth running away, including family dynamics, family violence, bullying, sexual abuse, and neglect. Did you know some, did you know some youth are asked by the parents to leave home? If these youth end up in the streets without support networks, and very little options to meet their basic needs, they become potential targets for sex and labor trafficking. Did you know, one out of every three youths who, will, who run away will be approached by a trafficker within 48 hours of leaving home? It is not okay for kids to be trafficked if they run away from home. Look beneath the surface if someone is offering you something that seems too good to be true. Here's some more. They're so good at blending in, guys. They're so, that's the thing. They're so good at blending in. I went on a training in Dallas um, and it was all these case studies, coaches, teachers, dads, brothers, girlfriends, cousins. And I'm like, ah, it's everyone. Stop listening to our instincts, we're in trouble. Our kids are in trouble, <laughs> we're in trouble. Our house isn't safe. We lock our door at night, right? But you know, if your kid's on their phone, What's the point? 13 year old middle school, that's the danger zone um, because that's the target. Um, and then I also tell our kids, you know, you might think the predator's looking out for you, but they're actually interested in your little brother or your little sister. We have about 8,000 missing children in one year in Nevada. That's more than 20 kids a day that go missing in Nevada. Our cases come from law enforcement calling us saying, hey, we have um, a case that we need you to send this e-alert on. Um, we have a case that we need you to spend extra time on. Um, they're overwhelmed, we know that. So they'll send us referrals, they'll send us families. We contact the family, we get the alert out. We activate the search force if we need to. Um, we contact the FBI, we contact the National Center for Missing Children, we get on the case. So we literally will do cyber forensics. Social media is huge, um, we know that, that was a great answer. Our kids are being lured away from their home. The white van driving through the park is less than 1%. The stranger danger isn't even a real, um, it is a real statistic, but you can focus on the 0.5% when that happens or we can focus on the 99.5% which is the children actually walking away from their home to go meet someone. So instead of our message saying, don't talk to straight, we don't do that. We say, you're gonna be lured. Someone's gonna ask you to hang out with them. Someone's gonna say you're the most beautiful thing they've ever seen, which is the truth. This is what we tell them at the school. But if anyone wants to meet you or asks you to keep this friendship a secret, automatically think predator. 
right? Because anybody with the right intentions wouldn't want to or need to be hidden from your family. That's saved over 45 kids in the past four years. We had disclosures where they said, oh my gosh, you came, or even they, they send us um, Instagram, they'll tag us and, you know, hey, Margarita, you came to my school, or they'll inbox us and, and tell us, this guy's liked, or this girl's liked all my pictures. I remember what you said. Um, they wanted uh, other pictures of me. I reported it to the cyber tip line. The cyber tip line is the FBI's child pornography hotline. So even if it's self-created a lot, unfortunately, of our young people are making some decisions they can never take back. They think they're in love and they'll send a photo. Um, that's one of the biggest problems right now is self-made images or video. The cyber tip line will take those images down. They'll also, they have, um, like I say, cyber forensics. So they'll be able to find out where it's being housed or shared. And then they'll go after that network or that group. And it's usually an, on, an online ring of file sharing um, predators who they'll file share. They'll share videos and images. Um, what's great about the FBI is we go straight to them and we report it. The kids do too. When we're out there talking to our young people, we let them know, hey, um, if you've made a mistake and you've accidentally sent a photo or a video that you regret, there is a way to protect yourself. You need to report it. Um, what happens is that FBI immediately, like I say, within 72 hours, they have a team on it. And it's really neat because here in Vegas, we have the Internet Crimes Against Children's Task Force that's actually located right down the street. So, yeah. So they pick up these cases way faster than the 72-hour rule. And they've been able to save a lot of kids because of it. Last year, I think they had 10 million images reported. So that gives you an idea of how much is out there and um, how much is being removed, if you think about it, because they're the ones that investigate it and remove it and figure out where it's being um, shared. So this number was actually doubled because of our um, really neat partnerships with television. So we try, I'll well, send them bulletins every two weeks, <laughs> say, hey, have you thought about this topic? Or, you know, child safety bulletins, whether it's the internet or the new app that's out that the kids are using to chat secretly, things like that. We also do parent workshops. But it was actually, our cases were doubled because of the uh, media being able to share about our services, what we do, inviting our volunteers and our families on to talk about their experiences, um, whether it was a missing child case or uh, bullying, which is huge right now. A lot of our kids are going missing because of bullying. We have a bully prevention program called Be Brave where we inspire them. We talk about the difference between harassment, um, bullying, and then what just is normal life. People aren't always gonna like you, but if they're threatening you, it's absolutely bullying. And it doesn't have to happen more than once. If it's one huge threat that talks about you hurting yourself and that, you know, the world would be better without you, that's absolutely bullying needs to be reported. So it has a lot to do with the outreach because the number's still been 8,000 a year for the past five, six years with the, the statewide number. But our numbers have gone up, thankfully, because of things like this, just talking to people, communicating with the public and empowering you guys to make good choices and to inspire your kids to do the same. Tomorrow, wear superhero gear to use your voice as a superpower to keep yourself and others safe from traffickers. Hey freshman Raiders, your freshman success team would like to recognize the following freshmen for their hard work in class and showing leadership in the halls and with their peers. Principal Eagle nominated Davion Lee. Mr. Cruz nominated Leyland Maxey. Freshman success coach Miss C nominated Queen Tucker. Coach Dermott nominated Belkis Padilla. And Ms. Sandy nominated James Wall. Thank you to these students for making Southwest the place to be. Keep up the great work. Be sure to follow Southwest FWISD on social media. And subscribe to Amp Southwest on YouTube. Thanks for watching.